Hello everyone. So in yesterday's class we stopped in page number 107. We are continuing with the same chapter, The Otter by Chinua Achibe. So we, shall, we have stopped in page number 107 after two paragraphs and we have to start with the third paragraph starting with the line the villagers okay so we will start and we shall continue yesterday's in yesterday's class we saw how a uh, roof was described by people and how is a uh, gem okay he is like a hero and like a guide okay and marcus who is a very good politician and who has supported uh, villagers in different ways and is no well known per person in the village okay so now uh, we shall start and we shall go through what next the villagers had had five years in which to see how quickly and plentifully politics brought wealth and chieftaincy titles decorate degrees and other honors some of which like the last had still to be explained satisfactorily to them for in their naivety they still expected a doctor to be able to heal the sick anyhow these honors and benefits had come to come so readily to the man to whom they had given their oaths free of charge five years ago that they were now ready to try in a, try it in a different way so here the chief the honorable marcus ibe so marcus ibe now he has uh, it has brought the five years uh, like he is elected as a politician and the politics brought him wealth chieftaincy titles like chief the honorable marcus ibe and uh, doctorate degrees and other honors yet it has politics has brought him many things okay like wealth like name like uh, status prestige okay so now the naivety that it is obvious that uh, the people that is the citizens will always expect from the leader okay they always try to expect and uh, they always expect that their leader will solve their problems like how doctor uh, should be able to heal the sick okay that is the example given here how doctor is expected to heal the sick the leader is expected to understand the problems of um, of the citizens or uh, to go to understand the mindset what is going on in the uh, mindset of the citizens so this is how he has to accept uh, expect it is expected that the leader should help the villagers okay and anyhow these honors and benefits that come so readily to the man to whom they had given their oaths for free of charge okay five years ago like five years uh, before these villagers these villagers had given their oaths for this marcus for marcus for free of course they have not taken any bribe or any it was not they have not taken any money okay so yeah uh, here they show that they have in the five years ago they have given their oats for free okay and um, the man has got so many things now the marcus he has wealth he has house he has uh, name honors degrees so five years of political life politician life he has got everything okay so that is what uh, now the villages now the villages they that they were now ready to try it in a different way so five years ago they sold their oats for free but now they want to earn a benefit okay so yeah uh, this is what he talks about how uh, he is prepared for election and there is a radical change fundamental change which is uh, brought in the mindset or thought of the people to vote for benefit vote for profit because five years ago they voted for free now they want to vote for benefit profit okay so we will see what next para take up support okay so their point was that only the other day marcus ibe was not a successful was not too successful mission school teacher 
then politics had come to their life village and he had wisely joined up some said just in time to avoid imminent dismissal arising from a female teacher complaint today he was chief the honorable he had two long cars and had just built it himself the biggest house anyone had seen in this parts okay so before becoming politician before becoming politician marcus ebay was a mission school teacher okay and he was not so successful he was just a mission school teacher that we have underlined and the politics when the politics came into his life he uh, became rich he joined okay just uh, sometime some said that uh, to avoid a imminent dismissal so, so there was a complaint okay there was a complaint raised against um, marcus ebe uh, from the female teacher okay there was a female teacher who complained against him and he has been forced to quit the job okay so he has forced to quit the mission school teacher job because of the complaint raised by the female teacher and uh, he jumped into politics it was like a very good time to grow or to start something new so he had jumped into politics and now he is chief the honorable so he is dignified okay he is uh, given respect and the position he is uh, is now is very different okay and uh, yeah so we shall see and um, he had to so the he's the story is describing how rich he is okay he had two long cars and had just built himself the biggest house anyone had seen in this but so he had built he had built a biggest house like it is called as umofia mansions okay so he has built a biggest house in this part there is no uh, house bigger than this okay so it is called as umofia mansion we will see that in um, a while and yeah west is where he became very popular very rich very wealthy okay after joining politics and the most um, impo- important thing we, sh- we should talk here is about the western culture okay the british the british who invaded into the uh, into our countries our tribal places and specifically here we, t- we are talking about nigeria okay when they have two aims or they have two uh, um, things to do when they invade okay one is they have to spread their language okay they have to spread their language that is that was happening by uh, making english a compulsory education or um, yeah we started learning in english and there was many english medium schools okay so and also religion okay so through their language and religion christianity okay mission schools are all about christian schools okay christians are the ones who start these mission schools so through the schools they are spreading their religion okay this is the idea of britishers when they invaded india uh, so through uh, spreading mission schools they are they started spreading the religion and uh, through lang- to giving importance to the language of english uh, they showed the importance of their language in our country okay so the next uh, line in the last second line we we have stopped there but let it be said that none of this success had gone to marcus head so even though even though there is lot of success marcus is still simple gentle humble man okay so we shall continue as well they might he remained devoted to his people whenever he could he left the good things of the capital and returned to his village which had neither running water nor electricity although he lately installed a private plan to supply electricity to his his new house he knew the source of his good ne- fortune unlike the little bird who ate the, he, who ate and drank and went out to challenge his personal spirit marcus had christened 
to his new house in Mofia Mansions in honor of his village, and he had slaughtered five bulls and countless goats to entertain the people on the day it was opened by Archbishop. Okay, so here he shows that Marcus was devoted to his people. Okay, whenever he could, he left the good things of the capital. So he is not worried about the money, wealth, becoming rich, prestige, whatever it is. He will always return to his village, uh, with because to support the village. Okay, he is always there for the villagers and with the village which neither had running water nor electro electricity okay they the village the umofia village was very backward place okay it was a very backward place villages were his fortune okay his wealth his fortune his future everything was villagers okay so that much he was devoted uh, to the villagers okay so he sees villagers as fortune okay fortune you know right good wealth good name fame okay so he sees villagers as good fame good wealth okay fortune and um, he used to spend time with them okay he always used to spend time with them uh, even though they had uh, no water no electro electricity and uh, he had supplied a uh, he had planted uh, installed a private plant to supply electricity to his new house okay and as i already told you his he knew the source of his good future future fortune was uh, villagers okay and uh, marcus christined the last title third line christine to his new house umofia mansions in honor of his village so the village name was umofia and Marcus named his uh, home as Umofia Mansions. Okay, and uh, he has slaughtered five bulls and countless goats to entertain the people on the day of uh, opened by Archbishop. Okay, so the house, the Umofia Mansion, was christened. Christening is christened is naming. Okay, naming the house, opening ceremony of the house. It was done by Archbishop. Okay. And uh, yeah, this was this is uh, it about. We will continue in the next class.